welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Lena. I share planning and organizational content as a relatable mom who's only one planner away from having it all. <laughs> so welcome. Today we're talking about daily planning. I'm using my Erin Condren Daily Duo Planner. I also have a plum paper notepad that's a daily pad. I have um, an Erin Condren notepad that's daily plans and then I just have a sheet of paper. So I'm showing you all different options today of how you can use these planners and papers to daily plan or plan out your day so that you can get more things done. Okay, so what I'm starting with is my Erin Condren Daily Duo. So this is a daily planner. All of the pages in here are just daily plans. There are some notes pages in the beginning. Uh, it's called the Daily Life Planner, as you can see here. And Erin Condren divides it up um, into two planners for the whole year. So this one is for the first half of 2023. So it's January to July. And then this is a plum paper notepad um, was given to me by a friend. And this is nice because it does have specific categories of your day, like priorities. It has morning, it has afternoon, it has note section. This is the Erin Condren one, which is a little bit more simpler. Here's the notepad. So I love having a daily duo. Um, it just kind of adds to productivity. I don't have enough room in my regular planner that's a weekly planner to write out all of the things I need to do during the day. So I always use either a to-do list or my daily pages in the Erin Condren. So really, it can be whatever you want. Um, whatever I write during the day is basically the same thing every day. So I have either a to-do list with a checklist. I have things that I need to do, like for my channel, things for my kids. I always write down what the meals are. I write down what activities we have going on. So this particular day we had gymnastics. So just kind of like it can be all over the place. It doesn't have to be beautiful handwriting. It doesn't have to be with doodles or anything and cute, but basically... A list of your day and either top to bottom, you know, morning to night, what does it look like and what do you need to get done? So same thing on this Erin Condren one. There is a specific to-do list section. Um, you can also change the sections, obviously, whatever you want to make. So I don't like to have the priorities during the day because it doesn't really work for me. It doesn't make me want to do this thing more than the others. If there's something that's like really, really important, it's almost like I kind of already know it. So I, that's why I changed this section to meals because I knew that I wanted to have the three dots there to show me breakfast, lunch, and dinner because that was going to make more sense for me. I also had a lot of calls to make this day, so I changed that box to call list. I've been trying to um, track the money that we're spending every day besides bills and um, auto pay things that are fixed costs. Um, I've been writing down every single day like where I'm spending my money just so that I can go back and look and say like, oh, you really do spend too much money at Target or Amazon. You ordered three things this week, that kind of thing. So I just try to stay accountable. I also benefit from an hourly layout for the day. So in this case, I wrote it out from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. I'm going to write the meal times. I'm going to write what I like need to block off time for. So like 9 o'clock is when I'm bringing my kids to school. There's a dentist appointment today. Leave time for lunch. Um, again, writing in the meals. And then kind of like the time block in between sometimes I do as far as like, okay, this is the chunk of time where I'm getting this done or this is the chunk of time where I'm going to go for a walk or errands or, you know, going to pick up something. I like to have a to-do list with boxes or things that I can check off. I'd rather check it off as a personal preference and cross it out because to me in my head and my system for note taking and this sort of doodly chicken scratch. <laughs> uh, if I cross it out, that means it's like canceled sort of thing. If I check it off, that means it's done. And then I don't know if you'll see it here, but if I make an arrow, that means it's moved to another day. So here's another notepad. This is one from plumpaper.com. 
This one is way more specific because it already has the sections for you. So here's one that I already did for today because I knew that I was going to make a fancier spread in this daily duo today. So this one is functional. So again, I've got my to-do list, what I definitely need to do today, what's happening tomorrow, um, what I have to do for work, the meals, what I need to do for my channel. You know, it's cute because I kind of like my handwriting. I put a little coffee sticker there, but it's nothing fancy. So now <laughs> my plan is to use the Daily Duo and do a little bit of a fancier spread. 100% so that I can post it on Instagram, transparency. But also I really do have a lot of stickers, so I want to try to use those up as well. So I'm referencing my monthly calendar here. And um, I haven't been using my weekly pages in my planner. Um, I've noticed because I've really just been heavy in the daily planning. And once I set it up for the week, I'm not going back to it. So today, this week was where I tried out not even writing in the weekly section of this planner. Um, and it seems to be working out fine. So I'm going to the day to say, all right, what do I need to get done today? I'm pasting these two daily plans into my notebook just I guess for myself to say like, hey, I don't like to look back when I flip through my planners to see that I have blank pages. I don't know. It's not a big deal. But I was like, all right, I'll just um, washi tape this one in here so that I know that I did make plans for this day. I was productive, you know, um, everything seemed to be fine, but I put it on this sort of page instead. So what I've also been doing at the beginning of the week, especially if I'm not using the weekly layout, is using this blank notes page, which comes at the end of the week every week in this Daily Duo Erin Condren Planner to separate the areas of my life and make specific to-do lists and appointments according to those things. And then I go through and say, okay, if this is my focus for this week, I can't forget that on Monday I'm doing this, Tuesday I, I'm doing this, Wednesday I'm doing this, that sort of thing, and then fill it in on each day. So I'm going to plan Wednesday and Thursday, I'm gonna kind of just see as far as I can go because I think I already did Monday and Tuesday in this day. So again, in the daily duo, I'm writing down the to-do list. I already know that I'm doing laundry today because today is Wednesday and Wednesday means laundry day. So if you missed my other video about my planning systems and now I have like a template matrix sort of thing, I can link that up there, but every day is assigned a different task. So Wednesday, I automatically know I'm doing laundry. Um, I'm also trying to get some of my zone cleaning done. So I need to be in my kitchen. And now I'm going to go in and time map it. So I usually write down what my kids are having for breakfast and what we're making for dinner. The lunches are fine. They're having lunch at school. I'm going to map out the drop off. I'm going to also map off map out the pickup because that takes forever um and then a snack and then on wednesday nights we have swim so i'm going to mark that down but this week uh, my daughter had an ear infection so she didn't end up going i'm also going to continue to just add whatever else i think of off the top of my head if i had a sticky note there then i was going to obviously write down what i needed to do that day I also leave a spot to track um, spending for the day. Again, I'm trying to track my fin finances. Um, and then I kind of just sectioned off here. This is the things that I need to do as far as um, my channel. So what am I putting on Instagram? What tasks do I have to get done? Do I have to edit something? Do I have to film something? That sort of thing. As well as the tasks that I need to do for my in-person job where I live. And then... This is kind of like a start. And then sometimes, obviously, like I'll remember something and be like, oh, yeah, I need to do this. Or when I wake up in the morning and I look at the list and then say, you know what, I really need to get this done. I have to do this, especially if I'm looking at the day before and I didn't get some things done. I'm also trying to remind myself to have greens powder every day and take my vitamins. Um, Wednesday night, I usually do a skincare routine that's um, unique to Wednesday and right in my five-year journey. So now I'm ready to plan out my day for Thursday. I am going to use a specific kit. You can buy daily page kits for the Erin Condren in both sizes that the planner is offered. It's in an A5 or it's in 7x9. Mine is 7x9. 
Um, I do have a couple of different kits. This is a Planner Kate one that's kind of like mermaidy beachy. So I didn't really want to use this one, but I was just showing you for reference as far as the washi tape that goes across the top, the um, day scripts, and then the numbers. The kit that I'm using today is from Coffee Planner Mom, and it's a really cute plants one. You know, I love plants. Um, follow me on Instagram. You can see more plant content. <laughs> but I wanted to also use a highlighter marker set. I'm going to have to look about where they're from. I can try to link them in the description box. But this was sort of, um, I usually do spend one day during the week where I doctor it up in my planner with stickers or make it cute with highlighters or doodles. And yes, it's fun for me, but it also gives me some content to put on Instagram or different kind of ideas. But even if you didn't have stickers, you can still model this system that I use. I get not really a system, but model this style, I guess, with the um, markers. You don't have to buy specific planner markers. You can use Crayola Fine Super Tips. Those are also really good. Um, or whatever you have. You could use a yellow highlighter if you want. I wouldn't do that. It's probably going to make it look ugly. But if you want to just borrow your kids markers or color pencils, you can shade them in whatever you want to use. And it's just a matter of putting things in a different spot, outlining them, adding a border, changing the, how thick the color gradient is, and it could really make things a little bit more personalized and a little more fun for the day. Okay, so now that that spread is done, again, I'll probably add to it during the week or obviously during in the day. If I don't want to write on the actual page yet, I just put it on a sticky note, stick it on the page, and then come back to it, and then I can decorate it how I want. And then I'm getting ready to start for the next week. On Sunday or Saturday, I usually sit down, and then I'll start to write out what I'm going to put on the notes page for next week, especially things for my channel. I've got all my videos figured out for the month for the most part and Instagram posts and stuff like that. So I hope this was helpful and I hope that you feel empowered or at least like relieved to say you don't have to have a specific daily planner. You do not need to go out and buy something specific for daily planning. If you just want to start with a notepad, start with a notebook, start with whatever. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Please consider subscribing, hit the like button, and I will see you in the next one where I take you through a full day in my life vlog style where I've planned out my day and we see how it goes. <laughs> Thanks, friends. Bye.